What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. We're going to review this guy right here. So let's show the box. All right. I got this off of Amazon for like 40 bucks. There was two or three different, um, brand names of it, but they all looked basically the same. I really couldn't tell a difference between, uh, this and the other ones. Some of them were like $40, $44. One of them was like $58. I got the one that was $58. I can't tell you if there's any difference in that than in the other ones. They all look the same. Just in case there was a difference, I got the more expensive one. But let's go ahead and talk about how this thing works, what it does, what you can expect out of it. So let's go. Okay, what comes in the box? Obviously, you get your claymore, you get your detonator. This right here is a string and a reel that you can tie to this little eyelet right there and then you'll tie this off to a tree or whatever as a trip line, um, trip wire. I'm personally not gonna use this, so I don't care anything about that. Uh, also comes with a charger. You have to provide two AA batteries that will uh, run this. The other battery is a rechargeable battery that goes inside of here, you have access to it. On the back side, that is rechargeable. It takes two hours to charge it your first time. It comes with this cable to do that. Uh, and that's, that's it out of the box. So first thing I noticed is the build quality is not that bad. Uh, for, for the money, for the 40 to $60 range, I'm not sure what I was expecting. I think I was expecting a little bit more of a, uh, I don't know the right word for it. Uh, much cheaper version than this. I'm actually pleased with what I got. Uh, so the way these things here work, I would compare this to like a mouse trap. You can kind of see the springs, how that is. Yeah, they're they're pretty strong. I was surprised at how much uh, force is right there. So you can do this one-handed if you have to. So you'll close this. Use this other hand. It is, all right, so right now, let me back up here. It's not on. If you flip this switch, there is a red light that comes on. That's how you know that this thing is active. All right, so close that. When you close it, you wanna press that down. Right there. All right, so that, lock, that latches it in place. All right, so that's last in place. If you were not gonna use this, it comes with this little pin and you would put this pin inside of there and then to lock it, you would turn it um, straight up like that. But if you're getting ready to deploy this, then you, you don't want that pin in there because I'll just lock the system up. Okay, so this thing is red. I'm gonna turn this on. This has an on off. You can see where, what you need to do. All right, so we're gonna pull the trigger. See how that did right there. All right, so it deploys pretty fast. All right, so if you want to use it again and you want to load it up, then you will flip that up. If you lay this flat, you can just dump the BB straight in there. Um, otherwise, you may want to get um, like a BB load or something like that. But uh, how I'm going to do it, I'm just going to pour them in there. Uh, you can pour quite a bit because these things will actually go down this hole and they'll go down in here, or they'll run over here and none of those get shot. So you don't have to go crazy with it. Um, if you if you pour too many, most of them are just gonna uh, end up on the edges and not get deployed at all. So no need to overfill it, it's not gonna help you. Okay, next, this whole detonation thing, how, how far can you go? All right, so in my testing from here, and I'm walking out to where my, my work van is. Okay, this right here is about, about 20 feet. All right, with this detonator, actually, I'm going to show you a little further. I can walk out here to the end of my driveway. And this is well over 100 feet. We'll just have to go by hearing it. You heard it? That's a good ways away for this thing to be working. So you don't have to be close to it, which is awesome. Um, as far as the range on this, um, I was getting BBs to about, uh, these were 32 gram too. So if you have some lighter BBs, they're gonna be less. I mean, it's gonna be, uh, they'll throw those further out. 
Um, so that 30 foot range, I think is pretty fair. Uh, I would assume you would get a little bit more than that using the lighter ones. But for what I'm gonna do, so basically we, we're having a game come up that we're gonna have a doorway and I'm gonna be able to put something like, like this within this range. You know, that's, that's roughly 10 foot. The spread on this thing was pretty impressive. Um, when I had it setting here, it, it put BBs from here to over here in the grass is where I was picking BBs up. So it was a pretty massive um, area that it was covering. So I'm telling you guys for 40 to 60 bucks for what it does, I think it's a pretty good deal. I got no negatives. You know, I say that, I did have one. And when I first used this, all right, so we'll go with a one negative on this thing. And that is this thing right here. Uh, it actuates fine, but under pressure. So when you close this, it had a lot of tension on this piece right here. And you could hear it trying to actuate but it wouldn't, it wouldn't let go. So what I ended up doing was taking a knife and I beveled this front edge. Once I beveled the front edge, this thing has is, is worked flawless every time I've set it off probably 10 times and no more problems out of that. Uh, let's hit these legs. These legs aren't bad. Um, they're all metal. They don't seem to be flimsy. Everything is tight, at least right now. Um, so yeah, so these, I've seen other reviews where these are plastic. I, I would say a no-go on the plastic ones, but the metal ones, pretty good. Camera died on me. All right, so this thing is armed via the red light. Got this turned on. Let's see what happens. A lot of babies. <laughs> 